So to start with, the first thing we need over here is uh, an account on the Conga community. So just go to community.conga.com and click on sign up. Now, when you sign up for Conga customer, in the registration, you have to provide your company email. So let's say I give at the rate gmail.com, then they will drop a mail saying that you won't be eligible for community conga setup as it requires uh, your uh, not your personal email id but your company email here i already have a login i'll just log into the community and show you so this is the home page you can reach out to support so if you have any support tickets in future first you have to do is log into the community and from here you can open the support ticket also from here you can see some documentations you can have your groups with peers and so on so for us, we want the installation, we want to have the CPQ installation. So once you have access to the community, this is where you have to come every time you want to install a new Conga package. We are just getting started. So click on this get started tab and come to install center. And here it will show you all the packages. It will give you details of the packages. And this is the place from where you can do the installation in production or in sandbox. So for CPQ, like, let's say I want here to do the CPQ installation. So go to the CPQ and these are the packages which we need to install for a CPQ to work. So base library, code management, and there is an order which we need to follow. Like you can't just randomly go and install first this package, then this, and then this, and then this. It's not like that. There is a sequence in which we need to do the installation. You can also find packages for CLM. You can also find packages for approval. So that all we need to get installed from here in the um, in our production or in our sandbox. So the recommendation is that first you have it installed for your sandbox and then do the installation for the production environment. Okay. So let's talk about what packages do we need. So for that, you can look at the documentation, Conga documentation. So here in the Conga documentation, if you go to installing CPQ packages, it will show you the order in which the installation needs to be done. Okay, so first thing is Conga based library followed by contract lifecycle management, code management and so on. So I have all these packages installed in my dev edition. So let me open my dev edition. And here when I go to setup and install packages. So I have all these packages installed very recently. Okay, now, so for example, Conga base library, this is also, this one is also installed. See, this is the Conga base library package. Now there is a short description for each package being mentioned. Say Conga base library provides a shared library of reusable components other Conga packages may use. So this is one of the common package you need, whether you go for CPQ, CLM, doesn't matter. Okay, and then you need Conga contract lifecycle management. This is called CLM package, right? Now, you might not use CLM, but this package is required. For CPQ also, this package is required. So CLM is basically for the contract management, but you need it. It is required here, so it should be there in the system. Same way, you need Conga code management as well. This is the package where you will see this components having the namespace aptus underscore proposal. So in short, it is not one managed package. There are number of packages which needs to be installed into your system and there is an order in which the installation needs to be done. Now, either you do the installation manually or also you can reach out to support, Ponga support, and you can ask them to do the installation for you. So it also depends on what kind of support you have. If you have premium support, they will do uh, the complete setup for you. Okay, and uh, if not, then maybe they provide the documentation and all. Now here you can see like Conga CLM configuration integration, this is not a required package. Okay, so since it is not required, so I do not have installed it because right now we are only talking about the CPQ. So this, this package I do not have installed because we are talking about CPQ, we are not talking about CLM. So this that is why these two are mentioned as uh, no. Now then this is another integration package that is required see it is required and then this is the last one conga cpq setup and this is also mandatory package and you should have it in your system 
So in this order, I have done the installation. I have skipped the installation for uh, integration CLM configuration integration and code CLM integration because these two are not required. All right, let's uh, move further. Let's move ahead with this setup and see what next we should do.